babe, the foothills are green. So beautiful. It is so beautiful. Yes. Check this out, folks. Look at this view. Hey folks, Luke and Susan here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you guys for tuning in for this very special episode where it is road trip time. Woohoo! Woohoo! Where are we? Well, right now we are on the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina, but we will be leaving North Carolina. That's right. We are yes. heading to Virginia. Uh, I'm not really sure how many miles it is to where we are actually going but we're going to be cruising on the Blue Ridge Parkway the entire time. We are headed to Peaks of Otter. It is a little uh, lodge that's on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and there's some amazing hiking there. Right. So we're going to go stay and hike, and we have a lot of cool things in store. Oh, some yes. Some cool adventures yes. while so we're there. Th this will be broken down in two parts. You have the road trip component, and then you will have numerous day hikes coming from this as well, including a downed B-25 bomber. Yes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So cool. Well, should we hit the road, babe? Yes, time to hit the road. Uh, we will be stopping all along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Today we're gonna picnic for lunch. Um, so lots of cool things to see. All right, let's go. Let's go. Gentlemen, always make sure to get the door for your lady. That's one reason why I was able to trap this woman into my life. Thank you. <laughs> I always got her door. Still do. All right. Let's hit the road. Ready? Woohoo! Road trip! Woohoo! Now, since we're cruising on the parkway here, we will give you guys some interesting facts about the parkway. Construction began in 1935, and it took 52 years to complete it. It is the nation's largest national park. You can take the most popular destination national parks in the United States, Yosemite, Grand Canyon, and so on, and combine them, and they still do not have the same amount of visitors per year as the parkway. That's pretty amazing. If you're coming out here thinking that you're gonna be able to cruise real fast, forget about it. The maximum top speed is 45 miles an hour. Oftentimes, it's actually 35. The parkway is all about the scenic beauty. It's about what you can see. And yeah. Yeah. Go so, slow and enjoy it. It's about cruising. It's about cruising. This is going to be new for the both of us. Exploring the parkway into Virginia. Yeah. I've never been that far. I've never been into Virginia on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Right. So it's a new thing. It's a new place. Mm -hmm. It's a new hiking. New mountains. Yeah. There are over 250 stops here on the parkway. There are hiking trails all over the place more than you can possibly imagine yeah there are trails everywhere uh, along the parkway here you do have the mountain to sea trail which mm -hmm. goes for <laughs> i don't even know how many hundreds of miles yeah yep very cool one thing that i really like about the parkway is that you are free to basically pull over anywhere you want to alongside of this road i mean you could stop you can have a picnic you can enjoy the views mm -hmm. just about anywhere and <laughs> it really doesn't matter where you were at the views are incredible. It's they always are. beautiful. And there's always people everywhere. Yes. Just pulled over, just um, sunning. You'll mm -hmm. see him like just on a blanket. <laughs> right. I've done a lot of lightning photography from this spot. Turkey. turkey! I knew it! Turkeys! Oh man, look how big they are! You called it! <laughs> you called it! I knew it. it! I told Susan, I was like, we're gonna see turkeys on this trip. Yeah. I, we always do. Wow! We have, we're not even an hour in. Yeah. Found them. Yes. I love turkeys. Yes. Turkeys are awesome. They're incredible birds. Those are big. Yeah. They seem big to you? Pretty big. I feel, I've always felt, this is going to sound really stupid, but I've uh, always felt bad for turkeys because they don't have any arms. <laughs> Imagine how much more productive they would be if they had arms and hands. No birds have arms. I know, though. but <laughs> it just seems they need Is them. it because they're so big, maybe? Yeah. You heard it here first. That's right. We feel bad that turkeys don't have arms. 
anyways, I was talking about uh, doing the lightning photography and chasing storms and stuff. And there was a number of times back there at that overlook where I'd be you know, doing the photography, these strong storms are coming through and like the winds are picking up. You can feel the energy in the air. The lightning is so close that your hair is standing up. Yeah, what an incredible experience that is. <laughs> I'm lucky that I was never struck by lightning. Yeah, you yeah. were lucky. Yeah. But I, I tell you what, it, every one of those adventures was worth it. Sometimes I would drive around all night long and see nothing. Then sometimes I would come around a corner and be able to take like the most amazing photos. Definitely worth it. is cool. Bumblebees are awesome. He is not a woodcutter. He is a bumblebee, even though they do look similar. Okay, looks like we have found the Brinegar family cabin. It says that they weren't famous or rich, but they were just important to this area. So they had a 125 acre farm here, and it says that the state of North Carolina bought the farm in 1935 to become part of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Awesome. So, ah. it's just part of the history of this area. Very cool. So one thing I find really cool um, about the history of a place is to really learn about it. And this sign uh, shares with us that for 60 years, uh, this family lived here and it was a 125 acre farm and they lived here and their life was based on hard work and they were self-sufficient. But what's so cool is they raised three kids here <laughs> and the descendants of their children still come to visit here. This is their home place, which is just really cool, you know? What an awesome tie to an area. Yeah. I really respect that they were able to live on the land out here because like at that time, there was nobody around, you know? I mean, you might have a neighbor or two every couple of miles. Yeah, and, and then you, nothing. And you traded with your neighbors. That's right. how you got the things that you need. If you didn't have it and you couldn't make it or grow it, you would trade for it. Right. So. Maybe your neighbor had that skill that you needed. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It's because like we were actually talking to one of our neighbors the other day, and they live in a house behind us. And it turns out that my great-grandfather built their house. Yeah. And, and the individual who owned that home, he built our bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> he built that, bathrooms for like everybody in yeah. the little community. You know, it was the time where everyone was getting a bathroom and so he built them all. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's cool how things intertwine and how neighbors help each other out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, let's check out the cabin. See the cabin. Wow, this is neat. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's very cool. Imagine, folks, how long water has been running inside of this spring house. Check that out. Okay, well, that's stop number one. Let's see what else we can find along the parkway here. I'm really excited to get up into Virginia because there's so much cool stuff. All right, so we're back on the road again. This is the furthest that Susan has been on the parkway here. So this is yeah. all new for you, baby. All brand new. Yeah. We're going to keep on cruising for a little bit. We're going to find a place to have some lunch. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I'm getting hungry. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We are pulling into a place called Cumberland Knob. Not entirely sure 
what exactly we have here. But, uh, yeah, we're going to use the bathroom, explore a little bit. All right, so we're going to head over here to the comfort station. I wonder what that means. Massage? <laughs> Thank you. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I am following the beautiful woman to the comfort station. Is this where the comfort station's at? <laughs> no comfort. Uh-oh. No comfort. I used a porta potty back there and it was disgusting. Failure on the comfort city. Comfort station, whatever. It's getting very dark back this direction. Supposedly rain, thunderstorms, all that good stuff later later on today. It's possible. Okay, so folks, we're checking out the map here, and we are right up here, okay? So the map carries on, heading into Virginia. We are going to keep on cruising up here, keep on going. There's Roanoke, Peaks of Otter. So we have quite the distance to go, don't we? We do. I didn't realize it was past Roanoke. I didn't either. So we're like 100 we miles 100 away. 100 miles. Yeah. Now, Susie just came across some interesting information. Yeah, about segregation. So, in the 1930s, Virginia and North Carolina, they had mandated racial segregation. So, there was a, um, at milepost 145, Pine Spur was designed as a recreation for, for black visitors of the parkway. Hmm. But this also says that here at Cumberland Knob, there was a five-unit picnic area for black visitors... So it said the larger areas would have separate places, wow. separate picnic places, separate campgrounds. All segregation policies were abandoned after World War II. Hmm. So. Good luck, hon. I'm so scared. <laughs> that porta potty is overdue for a cleaning. Blech. So, how was that? <sighs> I lived. Yes. <sighs> Sanitized. <laughs> They're just like, well, it's really disgusting in there. Yeah. But you feel like you're like trapped in a hot box or something. And mm -hmm. It's just really terrible. All right, so here's an update for you, folks. We are 131 miles away, roughly two and a half hours of driving. We're right at the Virginia North Carolina border. So, how has the trip been so far for you? Good. Yeah. yeah. It's been familiar, so, but right. now we're getting into like the unexplored, un un yeah. unknown territory. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have always wanted to drive the entire parkway from end to end. Me too. Yeah, one day we will have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I like stopping. I, I do mean, too. We're not in any rush to no. get to where we're going. That's why this is a three day adventure. That's right. Because I don't want to be stuck in the car. So right. it's fun to stop. Yeah. And explore. Yeah, and we're taking lots of mental notes. Yeah. This is a place where I'd like to come back and hike. Right. It didn't take too terribly long to get here, mm -mm. so we need to remember Cumberland Knob. Right. Hmm. Onward. Let's keep going. Virginia! Well, we are currently cruising through Virginia now. It's beautiful just it as is. North Carolina is. I'm excited to see what's like around every single corner. I think that's what my, like my favorite thing about road trips is. It's like you don't really know what's like ahead of you. You're not sure what's around each corner. Yeah. I love that. I, I love too. that mystery. Welcome, folks, to Groundhog Mountain. Woohoo! It's about to rain on us. We're hoping that we can actually get inside of this fortress up here because it looks awesome. Can you go inside it? Yeah. Cool, lead the way. Oh my gosh. Wow. Sweet. Maybe this is where like they watched for groundhogs. <laughs> 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 it, it was really important to him back in the day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, this is the uh, Groundhog Observation Fortress. Not really. That is what they call a buck rail fence. Thank you. Snack or just drive? Let's drive for another 30 minutes. And if we can't find okay. something... By 2 o'clock we're stopping and we're having our full lunch. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. I really wish there was some information about this. I know. I like it. I don't know. I can... Oh, I'm just going to make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that out. Do not put that in the video. That is wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's go. We are at Rocky Knob, which is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look at the mountain ridges starting to leaf out. Okay, so we were going to have a picnic, but it's <laughs> raining on us, so. <laughs> And it's oh, super windy. Yeah, now, yeah. Okay, All right. back to the car. Back to the car. So much for a romantic picnic in the sunshine. Okay, well, <gasps> we fail. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> it's just raining, it's cold, it's windy. So we're just going to sit in the car, eat our lunch. We have some sandwiches that we made. Yep, make do, and then continue to drive. That's right. Mm, let's see those sandwiches. Okay. Yes, Susie is the sandwich master. They are always awesome. I can make a sandwich and it would taste like the cat's butt. She makes a sandwich and it just tastes awesome. Ham and cheese, baby. Oh, yes. Susie made this ham last night and man, it is good, guys. Oh, yeah, it was our Easter ham, so. Yes. <laughs> We're eating leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, super good. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, I'm a huge fan of older generation trucks. I like the square body trucks. And there is a really cool Ranger truck down here. I like it. I think it's neat. I looking. do. I like the body style. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, that's probably a 70 something right there. All right. So we're about to fire up the car again. Time to keep on cruising. Yes. 50 miles to Roanoke, which is going to take roughly 70 minutes to get there. <laughs> And then we still have to go way past that. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we will cut down on all the uh, pullovers. <laughs> we've done quite a few already. Yeah. So maybe we'll just make mental notes now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Ready? Ready. We have a full tank of gas, a pack of cigarettes. It's midnight and we're wearing sunglasses. Blues Brothers. Something like that. <laughs> I love that movie. Did you guys like that movie? The Blues Brothers rocks. It yeah. is a good movie. It's fantastic. Okay, I actually don't need my glasses. <laughs> the gas tank is full. Yeah, it's too dark for the sunglasses already. It is. Mm. Okay, ready? Ready, ready. Sign. Woohoo! 
I'm guessing that that is Sharp Top Mountain. That is where we are staying at. Yes! yes! We have made it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes, that was an awesome drive. It really was. Now, it took a lot longer. Gosh, yeah. I have to say, I think I just spit <laughs> everywhere, but it took a lot longer than, let's say, if you get on the interstate, uh, mainly because you can drive usually 65, 70. Right. Parkway, you're driving 35. 45 is the max. I would say, like, the average is 40. Yeah, you... You're you not going to go... It's so curvy, you're not going, going to go much faster than mm -hmm. that. Very, very cool. Virginia is beautiful. The scenery, the mountains here, everything is awesome. Yes. Yep. All right, let's get checked in. Yep. And then we we'll will bring find you guys back. Room. Yeah. Fingers crossed. It's like awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, babe. What do you think about this place? It's nice. It's very nice. It's very, like, seems quiet. Um, kind of rustic. Few people. Yeah, look. An actual key for the room, not like a slidey. Right. When was the card. last time you saw one of these? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have a key for my car. Right. And check this out, folks. Right here. You can borrow a book. Yeah, How cool that's is that? pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a restaurant inside of there, which we will hit up later tonight. By 9 o'clock, don't forget. Right, right, right. They do have a bar, so... Hit that up uh, Adults later. can get some adult chocolate milk. Adult chocolate milk, okay. Right, right, right. Woohoo! Okay, so we believe that this mountain right here is Sharp Top Mountain. We're gonna hike up to the top of this bad boy tomorrow. Then we're going to find the crash site for the B25D bomber. Yes, it is coffee time. Coffee time. Coffee time. Coffee time. All right, folks, so here we have made it. Woo, check that out. Nice. So this is out to the patio. Wow, guys. Wow. Oh, we can walk the lake. Mm -hmm. Sit right. here. Heck yeah, babe. Yeah, I like it. Me too. Okay. So let's give them the 25 cent tour. Or is it the 10 cent tour? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> here's your one cent tour, folks. So here's the bed. There's the chair. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> chair. Another chair. TV. Yep, amenities, TV. And we have bathroom, shower, all that good stuff. All right. I tell you what, folks, I am tired of riding in the car. Thank you, Susie, for driving. Susie is an awesome driver. I'm tired of driving, though. I drive back. Oh. Driving the parkway was amazing. It was yeah, yeah. just so incredibly gorgeous. If you guys live anywhere around the parkway, you deserve it to mm -hmm. yourselves. You guys need to hop on the parkway and go driving. Yeah. I mean, because it's, it's drop-dead gorgeous. There's no commercial traffic allowed on the parkway, so you're not going to see, like, the direct TV guy. You're not going to see a tractor trailer. It's only private individual-owned vehicles. Right. Yeah. You know, the thing is, is that it is wicked slow. It is a little <laughs> It's slow. wicked slow. I like that, because I don't drive fast anyway. But the hike that we are doing tomorrow is like supposedly very grueling. It's not that long of a hike, but they no. say it's very strenuous. Strenuous. Yeah. Yeah. So folks, we're gonna take you out here to the lake, do a walk around. <laughs> what do you think that's all about? I don't know. It's like it's one shoe, okay, but it's super dirty. Yeah. So it's kind of creepy. It's creepy because you would think at this point they would just toss it. Right. You and know. It's been there for a while. It's been there for a while. <laughs> okay, so here is the lodge. You have the restaurant and stuff like that. I have to go peek my head inside of the troll cave. <laughs> this is the troll cave. <laughs> 
Oh, that's pretty cool. It goes over to some trails over here. Oh. You know, I'm surprised that there isn't graffiti all over the inside of this. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so we are doing a loop around the lake. It is exactly one mile all the way around. This is a 25-acre lake, man-made. I want to go fishing in it so bad. We're right here on the parkway, and at least this time of year, it is so quiet, so peaceful. Very quiet. Wow, there's a whole school of fish right here. Following us as we walk. They are following us, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, he stopped right there. Okay, so let's move down. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> here <What>? they come. <laughs> here come our buddies. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. They want fish food, probably. Yeah. We don't have it. Nope. <laughs> the wildlife here is so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen deer all over the place, and they'll just walk out right in front of you. I mean, we've had them like 10 feet in front of us. Yeah, the birds, they just are right there. They don't, <laughs> they don't care. They don't move. They don't care to move. Turkeys. Everywhere. <laughs> now, one cool thing about this area, folks, is that Thomas Jefferson spent a lot of time here. And when he came to this area, he originally thought that these mountains here were the tallest in all of North America. I think that's so interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. It's crazy. Now, of course, he was way wrong. He was wrong, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, but still, they are impressive. The top here is like 4,001 feet, yeah, I believe. Where we live at is higher elevation than this location but it's just it's very different yeah and it, it's still an impressive mountain very true what are you thinking about love dinner <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah hungry <laughs> yes i am too mm, we definitely have to wrap this up because i'm getting hungry too now folks we hate to interrupt your video here but we want to take one second to talk about our patreon page you guys have requested that we set up a page so you guys can donate to us to help the channel out. So we can go to different states, we can go on different adventures, we can check out different trails, more gear, more everything. And of course, all funds go right back into the channel so we can bring you guys more adventures, yes. more diverse locations, because we are heading all across the country and who knows where this might go. We may even go to different countries in the future. Yeah, very cool opportunities are ahead. And we appreciate any type of support. Patreon account allows you to pledge a very small amount. Two dollars. Just know, no matter what you pledge, it's very appreciated. That's right. Something to think about here with YouTube, other reviewers, and the Outdoor Gear Review is that with most YouTubers, they have an Amazon store. So when they give you a review, they're, they're essentially asking you to go buy that product from an Amazon store so they can get a kickback. They get some of the profits from that sale. Yes. Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, we do not do that. No, we do not sell anything. Right. So any review that you see, it is information for you. We give our opinion. Honest. But that's it. Yep. We're so, not trying to make money off of sales, so we're not going to say a product is good no. when it's bad so you can go out and buy it. Any support that we do get goes right back into the channel, meaning it purchases new gear or helps us to travel to different locations. That's right. All right, guys. Back to the video, everybody. Thank you. Well, I think we are just about around the lake. We have uh, something cool up ahead to yeah. show you guys. And then we're probably going to wrap up. It's time to go eat. This part one of this road trip adventure. That's right. Yeah. Check this out, folks. Let's go in for a close look, shall we? What a cool old building. So what do we have here? So this place has a lot of history behind it because this area has kind of always been like a recreation area. So this was actually an inn, which I believe was also called an ordinary. Right. So there was a widow named Polly Woods who lived here and she set this up as an inn. So mountain travelers could come here and get a hot meal, a warm bed, um, and just stay here while they were traveling. 
And what's cool about it is like the National Park Service was eyeing this place because it's so beautiful. And anyway, they created what we have here now, mm. Peaks of Otter, and we have the lodge and all that. So they still made it into a recreation and like an inn where you can stay. But um, this was the original inn. I think it's been moved here, but it was still in this area. <laughs> now, one thing that I like about this place is that Polly, uh, she called this an ordinary because it was made for like the ordinary Joe, the ordinary man, woman, traveler, not high class. I mean, yeah. people just like you and I, right? I think that's really cool. Very it was just cool. a nice, warm, dry place with yes. some good food. Yep. And people loved coming here. And the National Park Service recognized that this was an awesome place. Right. The Continues. Indians, the European settlers. Yes. Thomas Jefferson, Robert E. Lee. Everybody was drawn to this place. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty darn cool. amazing. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, folks. We're going to wrap this up now. Say goodbye. Make sure to pay attention. Watch out for the day hike up to Sharp Top Mountain. Got it right that time? Yeah. Yep. So, everyone... Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching the channel, the videos, and so on. This has been an awesome road trip. Awesome. Yeah. Cannot wait until the next one, which we're already planning. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Coming oh, no. soon. But we got a few days here to enjoy. So That's right. We will do that, and we will see you guys later. Strength and honor, folks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>